Hello everyone. Today we're gonna learn how to make this Meramico floral effect in Touch Designer. The network is really simple. Basically, we are overlaying two grids on top of each other and apply different scale to them. In this way, we are able to create these simplistic yet interesting geometry pattern. And then we want to use the keyboard control to looping through different visuals. Of course, you can also use uh, other keys or uh, your MIDI input. As always, let's see the effect first. Alright, let's dive into the network. To create the effect, we would need the checker component in Touch Designer. You can find it under the generators. You grab it here and we changing the vertical to 16 as well. And then we bring a constant and uh, the name to resolution. Uh, in this case, I want to uh, have 90, 20, but you can put the ones you want. And now we add a null and then a transform and then a composite and compose two of them together. And for the transform, which is our second uh, grade, we're gonna scale uh, down to 0 0.7 and add a transform. I oh, know, actually from here, the transform, we can add a background. Now you open this one, we change the composite to add. You can already see the pattern. Isn't that amazing? Um, to add more dynamic, we want to um, use the keyboard to control the, the pattern. So if you see now, if we change the scale from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8, of course you can go higher, but I think uh, 0 0.8 looks nicer. So uh, I would want to have a range between 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. How to create that in Touch Designer? We first need a, a keyboard. Uh, I want to use the key to, to control it. And then uh, connect it to a count. For the count, we want to change the uh, range to 2 to 8. And then uh, set this. But we don't want to have 2 to 8. We want to have 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. To create that, we need to have another constant and change the number to 10, add a mass connect two of them together and uh, combine, chop, divide. Uh, in that sense, it will give us uh, two divided by the first input divided by 10. Add a null and we call it a uh, scale. All right, and then we chop the reference to translate. Now when you press the key one, you would see this pattern uh, changing and that's it. Uh, next video, I will teach you how to make it more dynamic and audio active. Thanks for watching.